Washington. Powerful. Welcome back to Let's Play Hot Wheels, the world's best driver. I think I actually see the total score scores here too. Outrageous. Yellow team. So right now we have 11 points total. Well, it's not, we're not really working about total, worrying about totals, I guess. It's really a bit about which team wins, probably. We can also bring it up into the two teams combined versus the other two teams combined. We'll see how that works out. But right now, we do have humans ahead, uh, non-robots at least, or can extend both ways. Now time for the second team of the robots. Blue high tech. How appropriate. It's very appropriate. So who's on the blue team? Well, this is the more interesting of the teams. We ought to start this off with something interesting instead of just these characters are on this team and all that sort of stuff. So who's going to be on which car? Well, right now, we'll see. So who might these be? Let's just take a quick look at the cars first. Chicane. Hello. That's an interesting one. And the prototype. That one is absolutely Grease Lightning. Of course, Grease Lightning would be here. Drift King is an interesting one, too. That one, I think... That one I'm actually calling Track T. I like the front of it. Reminds me a little bit. Just a little bit. Being very, very vague about that. So... Right now we have... Prototype is Grease Lightning. Prototype. And Drift King will be Track T. And who will these other cars belong to? Hmm. So we have four cars left? Who would the bike possibly be? Since Grease Lightning is always the light one, light and fast, I'll call the bike Grease Lightning as well. It won't work for anyone else here. Alright. And then who else? Torque Twister. This one is a fairly standard one, actually, compared to the rest. This one will be the Professor. What's going on here? So, I'm going to try to actually not speak too... I'm going to try to walk and talk at the same time, because otherwise we're going to have some issues with doing anything this episode or getting anything done. I've already gone over episode time, so I don't want to make this episode long. I've gone over episode time multiple times. Where... Alright, I'm going to open up the little dock I have on the stuff run down so I don't do anything stupid. So! Did you really think that there wasn't some leader to this whole gang? Somebody who began all of this? Of course there was certain somebody else. Did you ever feel like there were some things that weren't quite answered from back in Velocity X? Do you ever wonder why Alex had tried to stop Danny, for instance, back in Velocity X? Why it was that Alex, of all people, would want to stop the Professor from accomplishing their goals? Well... What was it that the Professor wanted to create a time-traveling car for? Of course, him being the leader of the rebellion, he would be simply unstoppable with such a weapon as that, being able to time travel at will, would he not? And he then also put together Gearhead to help further this goal. And then later, Track T, who proved to be pretty much a total failure for that matter, didn't really get in with the rest of the gang or anything like that at all. They got exposed as a robot without having ever managed to get close to any of the non-robots. Never managed to be their mole. On the other hand, Grease Lightning managed to do something a little bit better, but eventually failed their mission anyways, having eventually been stopped and detained by everybody else. Although they were, in the end, only a distraction while the professor was back in the present, producing the mass numbers of robot clones to fight everybody when they got back. What was Otto then trying to do? Well, Otto, of course, had in the past been working with the Professor. And once he became aware of what the Professor was trying to do, he, of course, turned on him. He turned his back on the Professor's work and tried to stop him. He took the robot that the Professor had made then, Metacog, took with himself to accomplish his own goals, or 
at the very least, thwart the goals of the professor. And then Otto, once the whole gang got going, and all this robot stuff, and all the stuff with that, and all those issues, Otto did try to catch up and tell everybody about what's going on, but he never, as you already know, did manage to do that. A little unimpressive on his end. Am I missing anything else? I want to make sure I don't move on before I say everything. Nope. Okay. I believe that's all then. As to why Metacog is currently with the robots, well, what was really going on was kept hidden from Metacog. Metacog was simply obeying whatever Otto told him to do. And then once he learned what the rots are actually up to, Gira and the others managed to get Metacog on their side. But then who else is here, aside from the Fesser, who will probably on Torque Twister and Chicane, I think. Who else is here? Here's an old face. You remember Muscles? That little human mechanic that was working with the Professor, helping him on cars and things like that, helping his vision become a reality, producing these various prototype cars and the like. Professor got him as his new aide after Otto left. He took the boy, he took over his mind with cybernetic implants and other such enhancements. And now he has somebody else on his team as well. The once human. By the way, well, by the way, Danny, sorry about you and your supposed father. You're, in fact, a robot father. You're adopted, congrats. But, uh, <laughs> that issue having been addressed and given it's a, again, some attention. So much for walking and talking, but hopefully you don't mind all the info dumping. The professor is going to get put on Torque and Chicane. Muscles. His favorite car in Velocity X, GBO, is actually Hooligan. We're gonna put him on Loop Coop. And that's who everyone is. That's the full picture here. And of course, we have the prototype. Everyone gets prototypes now. I don't know if they'll have any relation to the actual Prototype 12 or not. We'll see. I like how this car looks, though. I'll try this one out. I don't think there's any particular paint skin I prefer to get any of these cars. I like them being, I like them actually keeping their supposed paint jobs, um, or their color-coded paint jobs, and I don't have much control over their paint jobs otherwise, because I don't get to choose from a large list of colors, so I can't really make the cars look like their respective characters otherwise anyways. So it's not like I could, I might be able to make Grease Lightning look like Grease Lightning, because I might have a gray color I can use, but aside from that, I could drop in this game a lot, too. Mission brief is to dominate all stages and secure world's best driver title. I will maintain audio input. Commence. I'm liking this. <laughs> this feels like the most appropriate type of navigator dialogue to have for these robots. That's beautiful. Awesome. So Torque Twister, you actually start of all people with the with the go the uh, professor, don't we? Yeah. Okay. One point one. The professor is gonna start their stuff now. There's one lap in it. And drift to earn points. And I got extra points for completing it fast. Cool. Drifting here will be a challenge, even for you, Blue Driver. There are a lot of snow banks and ice to reach out and drag you into the walls, which will cost you points. But I, I love the coincidence these guys turn out to be the tech ones. Drifting. While at speed, press the drift button while steering left or right to start a drift. The longer you hold the drift button, the tighter the drift will be. Release the drift button to maintain your current drift angle. Counter steer and or brake to end the drift. Drifting awards points. The longer the drift, the more points you earn. Beginning a drift also starts a drift chain. While a chain is active, successful drifts earn you links to the chain. Each link will multiply your drift score when the chain is broken. If you do not perform another drift before the drift chain timer runs out, or you hit something with your car, the chain will end. If you hit six links on the chain, your vehicle enters on fire mode, allowing you to perform your special driver ability. Special driver abilities are unlocked in the team select menu. Fair enough. So that should hopefully clear up the last of what was going on back in Velocity X, in case you hadn't 
Ain't so sure about that whole deal is there. Excellent performance. That's why some things are happening there the way they did. You may not be talking about those things, of course, but it's not like they never happen just because we never talked about them. Great trick completion, driver. Is it great? We of course, have a timer too, so we need to. Good. Take it to the next level. I'm really just losing control of the car and swerving like crazy as opposed to really properly drifting, I feel like. I do like with these ones being the robots, so... And these particular, in particular being the more business-oriented robots, as opposed to the more, like... The the full themselves type robots that, um... Gearhead and Metacog were. It feels really appropriate. These guys having the dialogue that they do. Avoid breaking the chain, Blue Driver. Yeah, I got something pretty good there. Oh man, I actually already... Okay, you know what? Forget it. I got everything I needed. A beautiful slide out at the end. Okay, smash that. Oh my god. So, that's a three and a half for the professor. Literally a three, I'm recording it as a three, but jeez. So, our, our new real man behind it all um, shows he's made in some better stuff than we could have ever imagined. Wow. Okay. That's quite the shock there. We're about out of time. Jeez. I would not mind just finishing up this re recording session by having f done one stage with all the teams. I think I'll try to do that. So now we have muscles on 1.2. I'll try to go through these quickly though. Drift points. Watch your speed so you don't fall down. Okay. Achieve maximum score by drifting the car across the wall. That's all there is to say. Okay. The ro these are the robots that are absolutely in control of their vehicles. I guess the most refined of technology that they have. Brilliant work, Blue Driver. That's one pause. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting that to be. I didn't realize it would actually be it. I thought there'd be more to it. One second here. I'm sorry. I thought you we were doing that more than one side. I was just using that one to figure it out. Excellent performance, Blue Driver. Maintain the chain. So that's your skills. a solid run. And I'll consider that the real run. Okay. That one's two. Two for muscles. There are rewards on this journey. You've just earned some of this content. So a sufficient. Sufficiently strong performance. So how had the Golden Tetrad done by this point? So by this point, the Golden Tetrad only had four points. Blue actually has the strongest start out of anyone, I think. Because they have five points out of the first two events. See what this one gives us. King, so this one's track T. 1.3 for track T. That's interesting. M, meters? I guess that's meters. Ah. Okay. It's curling. I fear those barrels are bad. Events launch you at high speed towards an end zone. To reduce speed, press the action button to deploy your chute within the deployment zone. Press the action button again to release the chute and come to a rolling stop. The chute will automatically detach if your vehicle falls below the minimum detachment speed. Once the chute has been deployed, your accelerator and brakes will automatically be disabled. Time your deployment and detachment of the chute to come to a rolling stop as close as possible to the target line. I don't like that though, because the issue here is I. This is a completely different gameplay. I have no idea how this works. I 
I have no, I have no idea how much these cars actually roll. It's like that was way too fast. But I, I didn't know the car was gonna roll for that long. I don't have the slightest idea of how long these things roll for. So I have to redo it a few times, but then it feels like that's gonna be a case of me. That oh, no, was way too fast. So can you actually? So I do think you hold the gas at the beginning here. That time, the second time, I wasn't holding the gas. Yeah, you actually hold the gas in. Okay. It's a complete different kind of gameplay. That's a two. So look at that. Um, is the total spreadsheet actually working properly? No, it's not. So MVP is still the professor. So here's how things sit right now. So next time we'll head on back to the green team. We'll loop on through. But where things are right now, red team has five points. Green team has five points. Blue team has the seven points. Jeez. Yellow team has six points. So as a result, right now, so the two highest scores right now are two with the highest average score, I guess, are Slingshot and the Professor. Interesting head-to-head -head there. So right now. We have the two tied robot and non and organic teams, and then we have the robot team ahead of the other, the other robot team ahead of the other organic team. So actually, there's a difference of one point right now, but unsurprisingly, Golden Tetra has pulled ahead, and very surprisingly, our new guys have certainly pulled ahead too. Track T apparently can do that. I guess that's robots doing their thing, calculating everything right on the spot, but. Interestingly, Muscles did fine, but the Professor is strutting his stuff. He came and got us by storm. <laughs> Which is interesting. I hadn't been... No, I that was going to be how things worked. I didn't expect such a flawless performance from him. More than flawless, I mean, he got more than twice the required score. Okay, anyways. So that's how we are, are right now, though. So... Our two tied human and robot teams, and then our robot team ahead of our human team, or non-robot team. We'll see how things progress from here. Also, what are the different abilities? Traction? Flare spin, whatever that is. Interesting. I can't see how many tokens I have here. No, yeah, I can. Never mind. Alright, but that'll be it. So I'll see you guys next time next episode. Let's play Hot Wheels, World's Best Driver. Things are actually kind of neck and neck right now, which is cool. And I'll fix the spreadsheet later. But... Wow. <laughs> Things are actually proving to be tense, and again, I have no idea who's going to win this, what's going to come of it, or anything like that. We'll see. Goodbye, everyone.